this card right here is gonna break the game. I'm gonna show you how to plus five off of enemy controller, lock your opponent out of the duel, set up an Omni negate, and pass turn, my boy. So first we're gonna activate enemy controller to special summon the Psychic Reflector, my boy. So Psychic Reflector comes out and you're gonna use the effect of Psychic Reflector. You're gonna add the Assault Beast so you're gonna use Assault Beast effect, placing it in the graveyard to add the Assault Mode Activate. Pop the effect, targeting the Assault Mode Activate to bring out the Assault Beast. So it doesn't really matter what level we pick right here because we're not gonna Synchro Summon. We're just gonna go into a Link Summon for the Christron Halki, please ban me. Five racks, my boy. Pretty much in this deck, what's so disgusting about it is that you can always um, get to Halky Fibrax. And if you get to Halky Fibrax, and you can get to Despot 01, you can get to Aurora Dawn. If you can get to Aurora Dawn, then you probably got game, you know. Uh, but of course, they have stuff like Nibiru and all that good stuff that can stop you, Ash and all that good stuff, Ghost Ogre even like I have in my hand. But the reality is if you're making it like far out into your combo line and there's no response or you didn't already get the maxi, it might just be um, clear skies, my boy. So all this stuff resolves after this. So remember, I played enemy controller. That was one card, not enemy controller, emergency teleport. That was one card from my hand, which was replaced with the assault mode activate. So now I'm already broke even in terms of card economy in my hand. And right now, as we're on the field, we're already uh, plus five right now. But now we're gonna take this plus five and turn it into a broken board. So the first thing, oops, the first thing we're gonna do um, is tribute the Auroradon, pop the Auroradon and pop the token um, to bring out the old lion. Now, shout outs to Decay, because um, I did see this, this combo um, on Decay's channel, but I'm just making it more busted <laughs> with the uh, emergency teleport. Uh, now, in this deck, I do run only 40 cards, and I'm running two O Lion and one Despot 01. You know, it really doesn't matter. The whole idea of the deck is to get to um, the Halky Fibrax and get to the Aurora Don as soon as possible. And if you pop those off, you can just get going. So let's finish the combo up. <clears throat> so we're gonna summon a Dank Long. Dank Long and Strong. About to get real disgusting, my boys. So we're gonna summon Dank Long. Dank Long hits the field. We're gonna activate Olion's effects. You can chain block this in any way you want. Chain link one, chain link two. Um, obviously, um, then we're gonna go ahead and add the counter trap, which is gonna be um, an, another uh, like spell trap negate. Uh, then here is your broken token. Then you're gonna activate the dank long and then send a card from the deck to the grave. Now see, I'm only running one um, Ashuna and one Vishuda, but you know, other people run multiples, but just for the sake of this deck for speed, and because I'm running that emergency teleport, you know, I'm just running one and one, but this is just for the sake of this example. So we're gonna drop that. We're gonna go up to seven. Um, and now that we're seven, we can actually synchro summon into a Baron de Fleur. Now, what I found out about field placement is that the far right corner is the safest place to put a boss monster because a lot of monsters um, effects activate that can affect columns. And this is like the safest column on your board. So if you get a good Omni Negate monster, you wanna put it in the far right column. Um, definitely not the far left because they're the monster that can switch control. It's a link monster that can switch control and it's only linked too. So, so keep that in mind since Baron the Floor's Negate can be turned off after she uses it at least once. So just um, wanted to point that out because that's pretty important. All right, so now we're gonna just continue the combo. Um, and now we're going to do, I think it's a Shuna. Yeah, we're gonna do a Shuna. And then we're gonna use it to summon the Vishuda. And 
then we're gonna synchro into eight. And we gotta make sure we use Death Bottle one. Cause if you use um, the chewing, you get uh, oofed. All right. So here's the Grandmaster. Grandmaster pops the effect to search your deck for a spell card that can search your deck and um, grab your big boss broken monster. So we're gonna activate again and we're gonna search the deck. And here he is, it's Protos. This card is also banned in the TCG. Um, funny story, when I first joined at, at my locals, this was the, he was this was like one of the last weeks he was available and like everybody was like Ugh, good get him out of here all right so now we got to go into chow fang um so now that we're going into chow fang we can set our uh nine pillars and the nine pillars is going to be a spell trap negate um and then we're going to do protos and um, I'm not sure exactly what the best cards to banish here are, but I know that, you know, there's more strategic choices, but obviously this isn't like my best deck. <laughs> so I only know it from my memory at this moment. So here's the Dankest Beast. It's gonna activate his effect and this is gonna lock out dark monsters from being summoned. Um, and now, here is a interesting spot you can be in. Um, you can actually go for one more synchro, I think. Um, yeah, you can go for another synchro as long as it's not dark. But um, basically, you can pop this token and then you still got your normal summon. So, you know, this is pretty busted. So if you look at this, it's just plus five on the board right off of the emergency teleport. Um, you got an Omni Negate. Um, you're locking out, uh, I think this is Earth Monsters and something else. Uh, this card is blocking out Dark Monsters. Um, this is a Mecha Phantom Beast token. <laughs> and then you got your Spell Trap Negate, along with whatever hand traps that you might have uh, to come along. And you still got other normal summon options. So this is just absolutely disgusting, my boy. So. Um, I hope you enjoyed the demonstration, but now uh, we're gonna take a look at the uh, deck list. All right, my boys, now we're here at the de deck list, and pretty much um, if you look at this deck, um, it's more of like a breakdown of Decade's deck. I took out cards that like drew cards, like the pot cards and things like that, to add this engine um, of the Psychic Reflector. But honestly, if you draw Psychic Reflector or you draw Emergency Teleport, either way, that's two monsters on the board. Uh, but this deck is really good at putting two monsters out on the board with um, a tuner, especially um, the Soul Sword monsters. Obviously, if you normal summon these monsters, you get additional uh, tokens. Actually, I would probably run uh, three tie instead of uh, two. But uh, basically, it's just really easy to play this deck, honestly. If you can play, if you can get to here, you can get to here, and that's all you really need. If you can just do these two, you can do the rest of the combo. So the rest of the deck is just working as an engine to facilitate that. And um, in my personal opinion, I think it's gonna be one of those things that will eventually get something banned. Some Something's gonna, ha gonna have to get shot here, and I think it's gonna be um, the Halky Fibrax. Um, I don't think people are really gonna hit this uh, Mecha Phantom Beast Auroradon because I, I think Auroradon is like up for judgment in the TCG and I don't think they're gonna hit Auroradon at all. But if they do, I would be surprised. Um, but Crystron Halky Fibrax is definitely disgusting and I think that it's kind of gross that this entire deck, this whole deck is just um, an engine for this one card. Like every card in here services this card. Um, if I wanted to go even further with that, you know, and make this deck more competitive, cross out designators and other things, just to stop my opponent from doing anything. Cause pretty much your only enemy against this deck is an Ash Blossom or a Maxi. And if they don't have Ash Blossom or Maxi, then obviously Nibiru could be a problem, but you might not even see Nibiru. And then again, um, you know, 
some people just don't like Nibiru. I'm one of those guys that don't like playing Nibiru because I never get a chance to use Nibiru. And when I do get a chance to use Nibiru, my opponent is the type of person who has prepared for Nibiru. So they have countermeasures, designators and the like to stop Nibiru. So I don't like to play Nibiru because I feel like Nibiru is a literal brick and I just don't like that card personally. Um, but a lot of people do play it. So be mindful of that. But honestly, you don't have to worry about that because this is master duel and you only got to worry about that one duel you have against the one guy. Was your hand good? The answer is yes, then you win. Was your hand good? The answer was no, so you lose. That's just the nature of the game, my boy. But I catch y'all in the next one. And as always, keep it dang.